here is the uh, project for the simulation and uh, fox and uh, rabbit uh, hold uh, the um, behavior of uh, each uh, specific uh, species uh, and uh, um, is uh, uh, the main class that is responsible for um, uh, for um, uh, initiating the simulation uh, and controlling it and executing it. Uh, so it holds a collection of uh, foxes and rabbits uh, which um, have the possibility uh, at each step uh, to um, uh, do their behavior, to, to uh, live for their uh, life cycle, uh, to live through each step. And um, each fox and each uh, rabbit is allowed uh, to um, perform its behavior, uh, and at, um, at the at the end of each step. Um, the simulator shows uh, the, uh, the current uh, count of uh, each species. Uh, the um, factors that will uh, be of concern for the population size are uh, birth, death, and um, uh, food source. Uh, so, um, yes, uh, so uh, these are the three main classes. Then, uh, um, field. Uh, is uh, um, is the uh, representation of a field uh, with um, a positions determined by rows and columns, and uh, the representation of these um, these positions are uh, locations. And in one uh, location, there can be um, one animal uh, at most, or uh, it uh, stays empty. So th uh, these five classes represent the simulation, uh, the model. A randomizer is uh, used to provide uh, the randomizer class uh, provides uh, control over um, uh, random aspects of the simulation uh, like uh, the uh, birth of uh, um, like the uh, birth of a fox or of a rabbit. Um, then uh, there are three classes, uh, simulator view, field stats and counter, uh, that are responsible for the uh, graphical interface. Uh, simulator view uh, shows uh, the field uh, with uh, the um, a current count of uh, foxes and rabbits 
and um, display of uh, their positions. Uh, the um, counter maintains a count of uh, uh, foxes and rabbits and field stats um, is responsible for visualizing uh, this count. Um, so to see the broad uh, mechanism of uh, uh, how these uh, fox and rabbits uh, um, simulation works, we go through uh, so through the exercises. So uh, to create. Uh, uh, a new simulator or was it a simulator view? I don't remember um, So, um, the first exercise is a new simulator without any parameters. and then simulate one step. So now the number of foxes is 214 and now it's 177 so it decreases it changes, it decreases now calling it more times now it increases under ninety three. Now it decreases a little bit under eighty six. Now it increases under ninety five. Does the number of foxes change on every step? What natural so uh, yes it does. Uh, the natural process is uh, uh, the the process that uh, uh, can affect the uh, population size that we care about, and that is birth, um, uh, death, and uh, uh, food source. Then uh, call the simulate method with a parameter fifty or hundred. Okay, so now the foxes have uh, changed by uh, rate of ten, fifteen at a time at every step. Now, with a uh, hundred steps, uh, it gets to forty. So
40 foxes. Oh. Now again hundred. Now it's three hundred sixty. Oh, now it's 370. So sometimes it uh, goes with the same rate. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, like this time it went from 360 to 285. So it, it doesn't really have a uh, much similar rate. So what changes uh, with the uh, random simulation? So 4,000 steps. Well, in the meantime, the, the numbers still oscillate, they still have some balance, and sometimes they really go on to some extremes, but in the end they balance out. Yeah, it's from a thousand to four thousand rabbits and from a hundred to a five hundred foxes each time at each step. It's still balanced. Now that there are four thousand steps and more. So yes, it's still balanced. So it it goes between hundred and the five hundred foxes and a thousand to five thousand foxes. But the reset method, and you start in state, and then run it again. Reset. Simulate reset. No, I don't think it's the same. It's not identical. Okay, so it is not identical this time to the previous time because the numbers changed uh, differently. And I think every time I reset, it starts with different numbers, so it's not identical. Uh, some mm, similar patterns. Let's see. Maybe if I simulate uh, hundred steps, oh, 
four four hundred. Yes, it seems that it still goes from. No, like in uh, in this case, it balances uh, when there are two hundred to four hundred foxes and a thousand to three hundred, a thousand three thousand rabbits. But let's see with the long range. I don't know. So even this time it seems that it balances somewhere between uh, 100 and 500 foxes and 1000 and 5000 rabbits. Yes, I think that's it. So there, is, there may be a similar pattern, but I'm not sure. Um, so do all the foxes throughout of the rabbits every day off completely? No, because there is always this uh, balance. So none of them die off completely. And the reasons are that uh, the population size is determined uh, not only by that and uh, uh, food source, but also by birth. Uh, so uh, in this case, like maybe the birth rate uh, is faster than the other two so the it is able to respond to to this now not the first two steps and the end of the long run. Okay. So reset. So hundred ninety six. Okay, let me note it. Um So, uh, first step is 196 foxes, or maybe I should do it like this, so foxes. And here are the rabbits. So at the first step, it's 196 foxes and 737 rabbits. Then 176 foxes and 878 eight rabbits. 
now we will see it. Uh, the amount after a long run. So it will be useful for when we will make changes later on and perform migration testing. Okay. Um, then, when this is done, uh, I will reset and then also reset the method of the ransom mindset. Let's look in the meantime at the API for uh, random. So reset those uh, set seed. So Hmm. Well, I don't seem to understand this. Okay, so, uh, the last step after a long iteration is 314 and 2,939 so uh, after this uh, reset and also reset randomizer
We start with 186 and 766 rabbits. So I don't get how it can be the original. Maybe if I reset again. No. No. No, the numbers are completely different. numbers are completely different from before. Let me reset again. Oh, have to wait at this end. So, I don't get why I get a different result. So it says that there is a setting is shared. And if it is set to true, then it has repeatability, otherwise it breaks the repeatability. So there are only two cases. Uh, If you share this true, then the new random no. Uh, if you share this true, then then what? So I don't see the difference between uh, the new random object and the set C. Mm. I don't see. It.
Well, the difference is that this seed gets changed if you share this truth. But it is changed to seed, which is the default value. Otherwise, ah, okay, I get it now. So, what happens is that. Uh, the seed gets set to a default value and that is used to give this random object instead if you share this force then the uh, random object will be created without any seed. So, so if I go into documentation, um, it says that in this way the seed uh, will be very likely distinct from any other invocation of the concept. Now, let's reset. Let me keep track of it. Now, reset the simulator, reset the randomizer, run the first few steps. Hmm. But now the there is a difference. The starting point is 180 and 730. Then it's 151 and 913. Then 152 and 
2035. And step 50 is 795 and 3044. So the numbers are all different. Uh, I don't see how it is the original simulation repeated. Let's go with exercise 10.9, but I don't think it will change anything. So this is set to false. So now let's go again. Now, uh, reset and reset. Oh, I didn't remember the first step. So basically, the numbers are all different. Let's try again. Now it starts with 202 foxes and 776 rabbits. So I don't know. Uh, it doesn't change anything. The setting to see to false or true. Uh, 